All right, Black Goose TV family, what's good with it? You already know what it is. It's your boy, Mr. Positivity. Fluence is at your service. It's been a while. I haven't posted any boxing related um, videos only because I really think there hasn't been much going on when it comes to the boxing community in my personal opinion or something that I personally want to talk about. It's just been a lot of mainstream bullshit nonsense and I don't really touch on those type of things. But this particular subject I've already started on before. I told you it was gonna be more than just one, two videos. It's probably just gonna be multiple videos whenever I feel like touching on it because I still feel like the people aren't convinced. Once again, remember whenever I'm talking about things like this, it has nothing to do with emotion. It has nothing to do with bias. It has nothing to do with uh, uh, being a fan favorite. If you wanna see me like that, go watch the live streams, okay? That's when I'll probably be biased. That's probably when I'll probably be emotional, especially if one of the fighters I like is fighting. Go watch the live stream. But when I'm doing these videos, it's all based off of fact, or at least what is perceived to be fact, or what is uh, public knowledge, right? So what were we talking about? We're talking about Wilder. We're talking about Anthony Joshua. Who was the A side? Who was the B side? Who has all the control in the heavyweight division right now, and who doesn't? I've already told you guys before. Anthony Joshua has much more control over um, the heavyweight division. He's a much bigger star than Deontay Wilder, and. Um, I'm glad I can make this video because everything I'm about to show you is going to prove my two previous videos. Now, see, before I gave you facts based off of um, 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 I'm basically business, money, right? That's what I talked about. I didn't necessarily talk about the numbers when it comes to drawing power, okay? And that's what this video is going to be about. If you want to know about the money, the business, why I believe Anthony Joshua was the A side when it comes to that, you guys watched that last video. But for this one, we're going to talk about the numbers when it comes to the drawing power and why this only um, further strengthens the argument that uh, Anthony Joshua is just a much bigger star than Deontay Wilder, regardless how you feel it is what it is. Um, so let's talk about it. The first thing I want to talk about, Deontay Wilder versus Luis Ortiz. Fox pay-per-view is approaching 275,000 buys. This was reported on December 22nd. Um, so what that means is most likely uh, it's probably going to end up um, averaging around 270,000 uh, uh, pay-per-view buys. Good, bad, great. Where would you put it on a scale? Now, this is going to be my opinion. I'm letting you guys know that. Um, I would put it as good. I think that's a good number, especially in today's um, era when pay-per-view num uh, pay-per-view is basically dying. It's not something people um, are really interested in unless it's something they really want to see, right? Because it's, 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 regardless of where you're watching this pay-per-view or whoever puts the pay-per-view on, it's usually a substantial amount of money, and it's so easy to just stream that same pay-per-view for free. Why should I pay money to watch it, right? Um, but 275,000 buys, that's a good number in my uh, opinion. If you guys would disagree with me, go below. Tell me why you think 275,000 buys is not a good number. Now, it is a bad number in comparison to um, the drawing power of AJ, right? What this shows to me is Deontay Wilder, he is a star in America. 275,000 against a Luis Ortiz. He's not from America, doesn't speak good English. He basically promoted the fight himself, which means that this most of the 275,000 was because of Wilder. He is a star in America. You cannot take that away from him. But He's not a big enough star to have control of the heavyweight division. I can even argue that Tyson Fury might be somewhat of a bigger star than Deontay Wilder, but I'm not going to do that because I honestly do feel Wilder um, is uh, a B when it comes to the three-headed monster. I think it goes Joshua, Wilder, and then it goes Fury. Now, I know for a fact AJ is over both of those guys and we're arguing against Wilder right now, and I'm going to prove that. This is what we're talking about. Now, let's go back to the numbers, okay? So this is coming from boxingnews24.com. Uh, uh, in case you guys want to read it for yourself. I'm going to go ahead and fix that camera just a little bit. I messed it up a little bit. I like it right there. That looks good. Okay. So, they wanted their numbers to be about 350. That's Most people think about 350,000 is a really good number. In my opinion, I think 275,000 is a solid number. But they were looking to get 350,000. Um, Coming from BostonNews24.com, Fury's Pomora Arm predicts 2 million plus pay per view buys for Wilder rematch. I do not think that will happen because um, Tyson Fury hasn't had a pay per view other than the Tyson Fury uh, Wilder uh, pay per view that happened. And we can actually find out about what their numbers did, but we don't have to worry about that just yet. So, um, 
I want to read this section because I think it's very interesting. Um, it's a lot of facts in here, not too many opinions. Sometimes I don't like reading a lot of the girth of articles because they really put their facts in it, but this is good. So check this out. After the dramatic rise and fall of Showtime being a key player in the boxing scene, Showtime president Steven Espinoza feel he could no longer uh, be able to sustain Wilder's lavish 20 million purse. And so he felt that at a point, right? Um, but. And you guys also have to remember, a lot of people said no one went to see the rematch between uh, Wilder or Ortiz. I'm not saying uh, 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 everyone said it, but there was a lot of people saying that's not what they want to see because everyone thinks Luis Ortiz is old and, and, and he's overrated, blah, blah, blah. So this is what people, that's not what I think. That's what people, uh, that, that's, the, that's what you would hear in the boxing community. So it was later announced that Fox picked up the rights to host Wilder versus Ortiz 2, leaving Showtime without a heavyweight champion. So you guys have to remember that Fox picked that up, okay? Not Showtime. It says right there, after the rise and fall of Showtime being a key player in boxing scene, the Showtime president, Steven Epsonona, uh, excuse me, Espinosa felt he couldn't keep up the 20 million purse he was given Wilder, okay? You guys have to remember, Wilder turned down a 100, 120 million contract from DAZN to be loyal to a Showtime, okay? Uh, or in a sense to show his loyalty. Yes, he is a free agent. Yes, he does control his own narrative. It was best betting on himself because it paid out, but you have to remember, um, in the beginning, it was Showtime who was really supposed to uh, put Wilder where he is today. Fox ended up being uh, the one who did it, right? And uh, the differences between Fox and Showtime, that's way too much to go into. I might make a video about that because some people may not know. They may think they're just from the same entities, uh, but but that's not the case. Uh, you remember, he's a free agent. He can get picked up by anybody. He was just showing loyalty to Showtime. But let's talk about it. It was later announced that Fox picked up the rights to host Wilder vs. OTs 2, leaving Showtime without a heavyweight champion and any chance of hosting the world's most anticipated lucrative heavyweight fight between, obviously, we don't know if that's going to happen, but that's what they were hoping for. So now um, it's on Fox to pick up the tab of, obviously, you know, he got a guaranteed 20 million, Wilder did, and then you got the 7 million that Luis Ortiz got. So it was all them for them to do it. They were putting a lot of money. They're basically, they're, this is a big investment into Wilder. They're hoping they can get that Wilder versus Anthony Joshua uh, fight, right? So. According to boxing reports, Wilder only sold 7,400 seats from a capacity of 16,000. This was for the Ortiz versus Wilder 2 fight, okay? This is important. Generating only 4 million at the gate. Rick Glazer reported numbers as low as only 138,000, calling it a uh, blood bath. That's, that doesn't matter, but he's saying numbers as low as 138,000, um, I believe, uh, viewers. So. With that being said, uh, Dan, uh, Dan Raphael at ESPN, excuse me, posted numbers of 225,000, which is more online um, than uh, this particular writer would expect. Uh, but recently, Mike Coppinger tweeted that Fox pay-per-view is approaching 200 sales. So, okay, we're talking about numbers here, okay? Not views, but the pay-per-view buy. So it started off 138,000, because I was reading through, I was, I was a little confused myself. I might cut that out, but. Uh, so it started at, uh, numbers was as low as 138,000. That was first reported. Then it got boosted a little bit by Danny Raphael, saying it got to 225,000. As recently as that, 200, about 75,000. Doesn't look like it's gonna hit the 300 mark, but in my opinion, I still think that is a good number. Now, the money invested, um, into uh, 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 what was given to him is it going to pay off obviously they don't plan for it to pay off for this Ortiz fight they plan for him to hopefully get the AJ fight which I do believe is going to happen um, so I just want you guys to, I, I just want to give you guys that little backstory right there because I do believe it's important when we're setting up you have to understand um, I had made a point in the last video saying no one really knew about Wilder before the Tyson Fury fight Okay, not just any way. So you have to realize that everyone's kind of been taking a, a gamble when they invest in Wilder up until now, right? And that is because of the Fury fight. It is what it is. You have to acknowledge that. A lot of people seems like they don't want to acknowledge that, but that's the truth. So I think you have to understand that to this point now, Wilder is a star, right? You have to remember when they're the promotion for the Tyson Fury Wilder fight. One of Tyson Fury's main uh, like jokes, or the way he would try and get at Wilder, he would, or the way he would try to downplay Wilder, is he would say, you know, I could go to the street, ask people who Wilder is, and they don't even know who he is uh, in his own city, in his own city, he's so, all, you know, in, in his own country. So, um, how true that is. But we do know he became a star after the Fury fight, and that's just a fact. Because this, what I just reported to you, these numbers are basically saying they were taking a risk on Wilder, right? Because they're hoping for the AJ fight. Not the Fury 2 fight, not the Ruiz fight, not the Dillian White fight, Big Baby fight. They want that AJ fight. And there's a reason for that, okay? 
I'm gonna get into that reason in the part two of this video, actually. The way you see me, no one else really see me, the way I need you, you. no one else don't need you, you. the way I we be, no one else can really be me, the way I love you, no one else gonna love you, you. baby I just want you. 